Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Central Texas Life with Ann Harder presents Central Texas Events. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Central Texas Events. And have we got a fun event to tell you about today. We have Daniel McKnight, Historic Waco Foundation's Collections, Events, and Volunteer Coordinator, and Amy Trawick with the wonderful Revision Photo Restoration. Yes, and Heirloom Imagery. I have two uh, two businesses. Two businesses. All right. Well, Uh this is fun because we are talking about a really fun event. The the second time you've done it now. Uh, Technically third. We had a second time that was a private event for a local church group. Okay. Well, this is the uh, Bonnie and Clyde Murder Mystery. (laughs) And that is coming up uh, on Saturday. uh, Well, Friday and Saturday, too. Yes, last time it was only one day, but we sold out of tickets two weeks in advance, so this time we're having it two days because we had so many people tell us last time, hey, I wanted tickets, but they were sold out, and I just couldn't get any, so it's like, okay, we'll have it a second day this time so everyone can attend. Okay, it's coming up on the 20th and 21st, um, and so that's really good, this of September, yes, and so you've got plenty of time to, to go ahead and make those plans and get your tickets, um, but... Amy, you took some fabulous pictures I that did. we're going to share so with folks. It was so much fun. I didn't get to be at the, I guess, the, the private one that you were talking about. But um, we just kind of had an idea. So they had a guy bring in, what was the car? Do you remember what the car? Some kind of like model. It was a 1930s car. Jeez. I know that. Okay, I yeah, something Bonnie and Clyde yeah, so vintage. It's, it's actually like the same color style you're making model of Bonnie and Clyde's really? actual car. Yes. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the car, but it was... Like basically, yeah. The, exact the car was shot yeah. up, and so the guy was really neat. <laughs> he let um, people open the the door, and then they had like the big running fenders that those uh-huh. cars used to have. So we had people like kind of sit down, and then I did two versions of each print. So we had one that was like the color one that's kind of fun, but then we did one that was the opposite of what I do with my restorations. Usually, I deconstructed the photo and made it look aged. Oh, so I can yeah. I can do both ways. <laughs> so that was really fun. Well, and, and there was a German Shepherd, I think, yes, involved. Oh my gosh, yes. I loved him. Yes, he's so sweet. As a family came, they had. Uh, it may have been a service dog. I don't recall, but at any rate, it was a very well-behaved she dog. She trains was, dogs. That's her job. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that dog was absolutely well-dressed, even better dressed than I was. He had a little <laughs> cigar that he put in his mouth and a little hat and a vest. Oh, my yes. gosh. Yeah, and the <laughs> pinstripes, that one the pinstripes you, <laughs> you know, the, yes. the whole bit. And so that's kind of the idea. People can dress up in their oh, so Bonnie fun. and Clyde yes, attire. Yes, and everyone who dresses up for the event will have a raffle where we'll be giving away just a couple historic books that we have. Uh, not books that are historical, but books on history okay. that we sell. So yeah. uh, literally just come in costume and we'll have a raffle and whoever wins gets to take home a few books with them. Okay, so this is going to be at East Terrace, which of course, what a beautiful Italianate house. I mean, it's it's really, you know, one of the gems we have in our historic homes, wouldn't it you is, say? It is, and it's cool that we're having this murder mystery at the East Terrace house because actually... Uh, being in charge of the collections, I know the history of some of the artifacts. Well, it turns out the carpet that we have on the back stairwell came from the house of William Cameron, who just so happened to have a car that was stolen by Clyde Barrow. <laughs> so there's oh a gosh. distant connection between the two. Wow. <laughs> 
no kidding. Uh-huh. It's kind of a seven se- what degrees of separation with Kevin Bacon. It this is. is even closer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the cool thing is Bonnie and Clyde actually got their start here in Waco. Oh, yeah. That's right. yeah. When Clyde Burrow was arrested, he had stolen, I think, five cars in Waco, one of them being William Cameron's car. And I'm and sure it was a nice car. <laughs> oh, for sure, yes, because after all, yeah. William Cameron owned Cameron Park, which yeah. is where the zoo it, is right, and, and Lover's yeah. Leap and all that. So uh, after stealing those cars, he was arrested and put in the McLennan County Jail here in Waco. And it was there that uh, Bonnie smuggled him the pistol. And so Clyde Barrow and his two cellmates, they used the pistol in order to escape. Uh, and so it was literally... Uh, now, Clyde Burrow was recaptured, but it was, and so he was sent back to jail for two years, and it was in that time that people believe he kind of got hardened and was like, I'm not going to be recaptured, and oh, hey, this Bonnie lady, she was really nice to me. I ought to team <laughs> yeah. up with her more. Oh, my. Well, it's, it's just a fascinating story, and the Waco connection is is truly um, it iconic is. It is. Uh, for the community. Amy, your connection, though, with Historic Waco Foundation, I think it's just uh, awesome because of what you do with restoring photography and and yeah, photographs so and things kind of was just one of those partnerships that kind of just like i don't know why we, neither of us had thought of it before <laughs> it's so kind of a just organic yeah, thing and actually that the um the one that was over what is noelle's actual title with the uh social media coordinator i don't recall if there's more to the title more or less, but yeah but she's more in charge less, of our social media. right so i had um i just had the brainstorm you know as an entrepreneur you're constantly thinking how can i grow my mm-hmm. business what can i do to you know i know my client base and what do my clients like? Well, they love history. You know, they love their own history. So they like Waco history and things like that. And so I was like, well, let me just reach out to Historic Waco Foundation. So I sent them a message on Facebook, which apparently was Noelle was running that. And she messaged me back really quickly because she's awesome. And she said, that's so weird that you reached out to us because we were just talking about needing to get some pictures of the Hoffman sisters restored. Mm. And so we were actually going to call you. <laughs> I was like, well, perfect. Okay. And then they invited me to the, the meeting. I don't know. It was like a staff meeting maybe or a volunteer meeting. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, they just invited me in. And um, Noelle had a little sneak peek, saved me a seat. And I was like, what are we talking about? <laughs> and she, she just took me right in. And it's funny because um, we ended up being really close friends. And she's actually the office manager at my brand new uh, downtown location. For okay, my so you business. have just moved. So yes. tell everybody about where you are. Now. Yeah, so I used to have a space over on Franklin. I call it Carlot Alley. <laughs> it wasn't the nicest place. Um, but 2020 is whenever I close that down. We all know what happened then mm. <laughs> in 2020. Um, but between 2020 and now, I've been meeting people at the West Waco Library because they have a genealogy center there. They sure and do. And that was kind of like, well, those are my people. So I just gravitate. Mm-hmm. You know, it just made sense. It's a public safe public place and they can do a little bit of research while they're there um which is great i love those guys over there but um a downtown location just happened to become available right at the right time in my life and you know i just decided to do it we're right next to one day bar on columbus Mm -hmm. and where i I think two doors down is glory bell coffee and then right across the home is that or the street is a beautiful blue victorian home which is actually an airbnb heart of texas home yeah, and so this is a wonderful brick and mortar that you have. Yes, yes. <laughs> and folks can, how can they reach you if they've got maybe a, a picture of, yeah, of grandma they want to have? You can either go on our website at revisionphotorestoration.com. There's a place where you can click to um, get a get a quote so you can upload a picture, even if you take a picture with your cell phone, just something to give us an idea mm-hmm. of what you have, you know, to give you an idea of price. And then, you know, they can just come into the studio. It's at 618 Columbus Avenue. Um, you can call our store line. I no longer use my personal phone as a as a business phone, which has been very nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's uh, 254-300-4230 right. is the phone number. Well, Daniel, you mentioned volunteers. That is, you know, what and, – and Historic Waco Foundation is pretty much volunteer-driven. We really are, yes, because – we can't do anything that we do without our volunteers, and we have a number of great volunteers, but we can always use more volunteers, especially with things like the murder mystery. We yeah, have these events. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, because literally sometimes we just need someone who's just 
willing to set up a table with some decorations. It could be that simple or it could be as active as, hey, we need you to play a character in this murder mystery. And so oh. you get to be, uh, perhaps if it's a gentleman, we may have a gentleman portraying William Cameron there. Or perhaps we may have a lady who's uh, maybe a little on the shady side and, you know, <laughs> needs to be uh, investigated as far as, hey, do you have any connections to a gentleman named Clyde Barrow, perhaps? You know, that oh, sort of thing. Oh, uh, And actually, Megan Heaton that you met mm -hmm. just a few minutes ago, uh, this is kind uh, of funny because it was it, like a last-minute yeah. thing to include me, so thank you for having me on here. Um, but, yeah, so Megan, my darkroom technician slash production manager, um, she's actually playing a part. She wanted to oh, volunteer. Oh, is she? <laughs> yeah, she has a film degree, and she loves theater, so she's like, I want to do that. She's so fun. I just love her. It's <laughs> ideal. And what a wonderful way to get people back to the historic homes that uh, that Waco has uh, to have a fun event like this. Tickets are $30. Yes, and again, there's two different seatings or two different opportunities. I mm -hmm. presume you've got a cutoff. You, you're going to sell out at what? Uh, so... If I remember correctly, it's 30 people okay. per session, ah. and that session being one session per day. So it's 60 tickets total, but 30 ah. tickets per day. And, of course, last time we sold out two weeks in advance. Mm -hmm. So there, depending on when this may air, we may be starting to run <laughs> low on tickets. tickets so you probably want to go ahead and get the <laughs> tickets Go ahead. Now yeah, the sooner, yeah, the sooner than later. Yeah, $30. I mean, that's very reasonable entertainment for the evening. Again, Friday, September 20th, and Saturday, the 21st. Yes. So, uh, and, it, it's and I should say that also that ticket price will also include two free vouchers for drinks. Uh, Southern Roots is also one of our sponsors. Oh, and so they're going to be serving drinks there. Uh, and then also you get a charcuterie cup. So you get a little bit of a snack before the mystery actually begins. Uh, because, of course, everyone will be getting there at 6, but then the actual mystery will be starting at 7. Uh, oh, sorry, I misspoke. It'll be everyone arrives at 6.30, mm -hmm. and then the mystery starts at 7. And then, of course, the uh, killer will be revealed at 8.45. So <laughs> and the pictures are included in that price. Yes. Last year we did it where it was separate. It was just a pain trying to get everybody. You had to check out in two places. Yeah. It was just too confusing. So we're like, well, you know what, let's just – Combine it in the ticket price, so that is a portion of that price as well. Oh, that's yeah, so awesome. So they get their digital copies, and you know, if they want to order prints, they can do that. The print is not included, but we do offer the digital, which everybody loves because you can share it. Well, it's just a, a wonderful way to kind of highlight, have fun at a beautiful historic Waco home at East Terrace, and, uh, and also kind of, kind of showcase a, a, a really interesting aspect of Waco history. But before we leave, I want to uh, remind you about the 175th celebration, September 6th and 7th, because there's going to be a kickoff party at the Texas Music Cafe on the 6th, music and fun from 6 to 10. Those tickets are $75. There'll be heavy appetizers, drinks, uh, performer Kelsey Ray, who's written the song about Waco, uh, a City to Believe in. She'll be performing, oh. so there'll be what music happened? and fun. And then on Saturday... The, si the seventh is the scavenger hunt. That's mm -hmm. going to be about a historic Waco Foundation, a sponsor um, of that as well. And there'll be an ending celebration at the Earl Harrison House in Pape Gardens. Um, hot dogs, refreshments, and again, Kelsey Ray will be there. So we're really showcasing yeah. Waco's history. Where is the scavenger hunt? Okay, it, well, I, it's I going to start. <laughs> okay, I think it's going to start at the... At Armor. the suspension bridge. Oh, at the think. suspension bridge. I think, isn't cool. it? <laughs> I forgot. If I remember off the top of my head, Sorry, that guys. sounds <laughs> right. I, I don't recall off okay, the top of my Okay, I'm looking at my head. notes. My uh, I just know where it's going to end. Um, but you can go online and uh, the Jacob Day Court of a Society yes. and get all the information on both of these events. Uh, of course, uh, the other sponsors, Rogue Media Network, Creative Waco, Waco Convention and Visitors Bureau, the Texas Jewish Historical Society, and Waco Educators Alliance. So... Awesome. Some some great folks who are really uh, want to celebrate Waco's 175th. And I'm just going to say this murder mystery is another part of it. It is. Because <laughs> we'll so all plan fine. to be there. Who doesn't love a yes. murder mystery, you know? And it's I know. And a little little Bonnie and Clyde and thrown it, in yeah, for fun. Yeah, especially at a historic home. How cool is that? It's like uh, yeah. living in the, the, what was that game, Clue? 
Yes, yeah, exactly. Yes. That's, what, that's yes. sort of what it, what, it, what it reminded me of. And we also have some wonderful, fun things happening earlier in the month of September to tell you about. And that is through the Waco, uh, Waco's new Jacob de Cordova Society. And it's the Waco 175th celebration on September 6th and 7th. There'll be a kickoff party at the Texas Music Cafe on the 6th. Music and fun. And uh, Kelsey Ray, who's written that special song for Waco, uh, A City to believe in uh 75 dollars for those tickets and there'll be uh, heavy drinks there'll be heavy drinks there'll be <laughs> heavy hors d'oeuvres I mean, maybe <laughs> there might be some heavy drinks there too it is texas music cafe yeah, exactly. but then on saturday now this is a very much a family friendly event a scavenger hunt for all ages it's going to start at the Farmers Help me. Market. Farmer's Market. It's going <laughs> yes, to start the Farmer's Market. market. And cool. yeah. the scavenger hunt's going to be just loads of fun for everybody. And then it will end at the Earl Harrison House and the Pape Gardens. There'll be hot dogs, refreshments on that day as well. So that's uh, coming up on September 6th and 7th. And I've uh, got some fabulous sponsors, including Historic Waco Foundation, but mm-hmm. Rogue Media Network, Creative Waco, Waco Convention and Visitors Bureau, the Texas Jewish Historical Society, and Waco Educators Alliance. So a lot of folks interested in Waco's history, in celebrating Waco's histories, as as you yeah. are with this murder mystery Absolutely. that's coming yes. up on the 20th and 21st. Now, folks can get tickets. How? Yes, yeah, so they can get tickets on the Historic Waco website. That's historicwaco.org. And, of course, you go on there, you'll look under events, and it'll be the first thing that'll pop up, and you can order tickets for whichever night you prefer. Well, it's it's really going to be loads of fun, and I appreciate uh, both of you taking some time out to be with us, Amy Trawink. It's wonderful to have uh, you as a sponsor for yes, the absolutely. And I'm body and Clyde. To, I didn't want to interrupt you earlier, but um, with the raffle, I would love to donate um, a decent sized gift card. Oh gift wow! Certificate for uh, yeah. photo restoration services. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Well, thank you for your sponsorship yeah, of, of, of this as well. And, of course, all the great work that Historic Waco Foundation does. Thank yes. you, Daniel. Thank and you thank you all for it. being with us for Central Texas Events. We'll see you at all these fun things coming up as we celebrate Waco. Bye-bye. This has been a Rogue Media Network production. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.